Hi, welcome to Etude number seven, part four, the final part, and we're going to be dealing with that uh, fantastically difficult and challenging uh, trill and bar chord section. Okay, welcome to micro study sixteen and seventeen. Now there is actually quite a bit here, so the main tips for this section are chords are staccato, so you're going to be using planting with IMA and P. Bass line is the main melodic focus. Make sure that you keep those bass notes on as long as possible. They're not staccato. Guide fingers. Guide fingers two and four. You use them up and down the strings and you won't squeak and you just need to lift the first finger off and release the bar. As usual, laser ahead. Super important. Make sure that your eyes are ahead of your fingers and you're always... Finally, micro study 17. Once you finish up at the top here and you start moving down from the high E all the way back down to first position, there is a pattern to it. So, in essence, Micro Study 16 only has two chord shapes to it. The first chord shape looks like that. We have first finger barre, and it is holding down strings one, three, second finger on string two, and fourth finger on string one. And that just gets shifted up and down in that fashion. The next chord shape takes it a little bit further and we have first finger across the strings holding down string six we have a second finger on string three this time third finger on string two and a fourth finger on string one these are all grouped together no spacing and then there is a space between us and that is the second chord shape now when you move up to here, you're still using this chord shape, but it is really difficult to bar across there. So again, you're going to have to use the first chord shape, but instead of a first finger playing strings one and three, you're going to need fingers one and two, string third finger on string two, and then a fourth finger on string one again. And you only need it for the E and D sharps, and then after that, you're back to the first chord shape. So that's it in essence. The main pattern is made up of G sharp, F, B, back to F, repeat, G sharp, now we move upward, A, B flat. And that is MicroStudy 16 in essence. The chords are staccato, they're marked. They're not marked as staccato in the 1950 school, but they are marked as staccato in 1928. So you need to be clear about that. And again, laser head. So it's chord shape one, bass, chord, bass chord, bass chord, together. Repeat. Extra. Bass chord. New chord shape. First chord shape, different fingering. Okay, so micro study 17 kicks off on the D sharp, but I'm gonna begin just on the last chord of micro study 16. Bass, then chord. D sharp, bass, then chord. Bass on its own, bass and chord, bass then chord, bass on its own, bass and chord, bass then chord, bass, bass and chord, bass then chord, bass then chord, trills. So it's quite an intricate little pattern, but if you can remember from the D sharp, it literally is bass, then chord, bass, bass and chord, bass, then chord, bass, bass and chord, and it just repeats down the guitar. Again, we have that little whole tone scale fragment, which Villalobos loves to chuck in, so keep an eye out for that, and it's gonna come back again in the trill section. Okay, the next section is on trills. We're gonna do a quick trill focus um, lesson. This is challenging, so please go carefully. Do not play through any pain. That is definitely the main tip here. No pain, no gain. It's a load of BS. Stop. 
you will hurt yourself. This is quite a tough section to do. Tool Focus is going to skip a couple of micro studies and include micro study 20 and 21 because there are six top patrols here which you are going to need in bars 53 to 54 when a fellow logo switches from straight trills to triplet trills. Now the main confusion here is no one really knows what Villalobos intended for the trills here. Did he intend for eight notes? Or did he intend for four notes? So today, I think the best approach is to use your common sense and do trills that will fit your ability. Whether it's four, or as many as you can fit in. There are people that will play them faster, but as you can see, I'm using two fingers to do that. The more notes you fit in, the easier it becomes with two fingers, whereas with just four notes, It's easier with one finger so keep that in mind that is going to make a big difference when you attack those trills do not do the trills cold make sure that your trills are warmed up and I would suggest that you use something like micro study 20 micro study 20 uses the trills at bar 53 but just the trills on their own and we're doing one and a two and a three and So we're going from 16th notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and a two and a three and a four and a... And you can move that up and down the guitar and make it a tone. But this will help you when you transition from bars 53 to 54. So try and make sure that you get that rhythm straight. Again, Villa Lobos pulling the brakes back. He loves doing that with triplet rhythms. And that is the end of the trill focus. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. When you next get to it, you'll be doing them with bar chords. So you decide on whether you want to do them four or sixteenths, or maybe even a combination of the both, maybe even say sevens or eight. It doesn't really matter as long as there's a trill involved. How fast, how slow, as long as you fit them in time in the main beats are there. That is the key thing. Make sure that those chords are on the main beats. Right. Well, that's Welcome to Micro Studies 18 and 19. These two are getting pushed together as well because of their nature. And the main tip here is do not play through pain. This is really tough to do depending on which fingers you choose and how supple your fingers are. This is not an exercise for cold hands. This is an exercise for warm hands. So use the trill focus that we've just had a look at and the six top and the 16th note to six tuplet exercise to warm up before you dive into half bars with trills. Micro study 18 is the main pattern for this section and it gives you a good introduction. So I'm not going to do trills with just half bars and I'm just going to sound them out. Flexion at the tip joint, don't squeeze in here, just gently pull back a little bit with a little bit of squeezing. One, 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 across strings three, two and one and it goes fret one, fret three, fret five, Back to fret three on the offbeat. Fret one, three, five, eight. With a gliss. And that's it, that repeats that section. The main key here is practice this without the trills and with a metronome or some sort of tempo. Micro study 19 kicks off at bar 50 and it uses the same beginning that we've just seen to segue into a slightly different set of chords. So again we have one to three to five and then we have an eight no bass and then it goes back to five offbeat eight five offbeat eight no bass 
five, and then we change to four, offbeat seven, back to four with the bass, offbeat seven, and then we stay at four, but with an A sharp trill for half a bar, and then an A natural trill for half a bar on bar 53. And then that switches to So that's where that 16th note to triplet study that we just previously looked at comes into play bar 53 to 54. And last final point, make sure that you have the bass line clear because it goes one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three. And then it shortens that to just three bass notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together nice and slowly. No trills, just the bare bones because that's how you should be practicing it. Put the trills in afterwards once you're secure and you're not using a lot of tension. Let's take a look at that. Welcome to Mark Study number 22. This is the end. So the ending finishes up with sextuplets into a 16th note scale into a wonderful B7-9 chord. Main tips here. That final scale is staccato. The little Ogos expressly put that in. To achieve that, it's left hand muting where you release early. Or right hand muting where you play with rest strokes. then you will need to mute the open strings. Next tip, a final chord, place the fingers in sequence. So we are here on semiquaver, we are here on sextuplets. And you need to count them out, so it's one and a, and and a, two and a, and and a, three and a, and and a, bam, and then you're in, so. To that scale so make sure that you've got some sort of pulse or tempo going so you know where you are with them. I'm not going to go over the fingering of the scale too much I'm going to do this nice and quickly because we've already looked at this in the first video so if you need that there's a there'll be a link or something to pop up now I'm just going to go fingers my fingering you don't have to use my fingering you could use form two but anyway it is zero one three one zero three one zero two one Four two one four two zero four two zero and then now we're into that interesting chord at the end there. Third finger seven, first finger six, fourth finger seven, second uh, finger six, and your thumb is going to be playing two strings again. together and then obviously Dylan Lobos has said Sul Ponticello so he wants that sound there. And that is it, that is the end to this wonderful etude. Thank you very much for staying until the end. This is part of the Villa Lobos 12 and 12 challenge, 12 etudes across 12 months.